Good morning, John. There are certain things that you only get the chance to do once in your whole lifetime, and if you don't do it, you never get to do it again. And one of those things is making a tier list of articles about your cancer diagnosis. And I, of course, decided to do this the moment that the New York Post article came out, but we'll get to that one. We're going to start with my hometown newspaper, The Missoulian, which did a fine job, except they didn't actually do this. It's just from The Wire. This is my town! Now, I said that the article is fine, but John, they do mention you in the second paragraph, which is a little early for me, and they also picked out the saddest looking frame from my video. So this is going to be E tier. This one's from The Decider, and I've never noticed this before, but most of these headlines will be framed as the news is that I'm revealing something, not that the news is that something is happening to me, which I actually quite like. The news is that I have made this information available. It's health stuff. So the news isn't that I have cancer, it's that I've revealed that I have cancer. Now saying this sucks so bad in the headline, I don't like that because that makes it sound bad and scary. And they did didn't mention you, John, early on, but there is a whole blurb that says more on John Green, so that's going to put that in the E tier for me as well. We're starting off weak. CBS News, as you might be unsurprised to hear, did a fine job. I'm going to put this one in the B tier. New York Times. Uh, I like this headline. Hank Green, novelist and YouTube star. Not even author. Novelist. Also, no scare quotes. It says, treatable cancer. Great, love that. Now, John, you do make an early appearance in paragraph number three, but then they go on to give me two full paragraphs about my books, which, mm, fantastic, love that. I'm gonna give that an A. The Hills got me in as a popular YouTuber and TikTok creator revealing my diagnosis. I like that, but it's middle of the pack. NPR here in the pop culture section, YouTube star, that's what I get, and I'll allow it. Did a good job of condensing things down real quick, getting the point across, but then the best part is that in the NPR article, the author left me some suggestions for bummer-free media. This, to me, seemed like the kind of person who's probably in the community, so I did check it out. Tilda Wilson uh, got a They Might Be Giants lyric in the Twitter bio and follows me on Twitter. So we're just gonna guess that this isn't their first exposure to Nerdfighteria. So NPR alone by itself in the S tier for a very nice condensed article that got the point across and told me to play Animal Crossing. CNN's gonna get a point off for just calling me YouTuber and not YouTube star. So it would have been an A, but it's gonna be a B. Los Angeles Times kicks it off with Hank Green, YouTube star, and John Green's brother. It's a good article, but I did find that a little bit disappointing, especially because you actually can put in for Google purposes, like the shortened version of the headline for search results, and that one just said, Hank Green, John Green's brother, has cancer. It sucks. So I apologize for this, LA Times, but you're heading in for that D tier. Now, HuffPo took a miss on the news is the reveal angle and just said Hank Green has cancer, and instead, the news is what is Hodgkin's lymphoma, which I actually like. They interviewed somebody from the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. They talked to an oncologist. I'm going to put this in the S. This was the Daily Gossip. We got some Jay-Z and Beyonce news here, but as you scroll down, Hank Green has been diagnosed with cancer and live action Powerpuff Girls dead at the CW. So that's gonna go in the F tier. I don't feel like that's the right vibe. I think you got the vibe wrong. Variety gave me a write-up. I like this write-up because it's more about the entertainment industry part of things, which I am a part of, and they did a good old job about that. They put the fact that I'm gonna miss VidCon in the headline, and I understand that's sort of like the most applicable news here to Variety, but still. But the Variety article does end, Green quoted VidCon's tweet and said, this is so frustrating. Please have so, so much fun at VidCon without me. And including that, bonus point. USA Today, with what I see as a miss, author vlogger Hank Green opens up about cancer diagnosis in YouTube video. Bad news! I mean, it is bad news, but like, that's scary, and I know what you're trying to do and I don't like it. So I'm gonna give you a D. But they did give a blurb of the novel, so I'm gonna bump you up to a C, okay. The Today Show's perspective I liked a lot. Here's what he wants his fans to know. That's a great frame, and I liked it, so I'm gonna put you with NPR in the S tier. And finally, we're gonna end off with our little friend at the New York Post. It says, Hank Green reveals cancer diagnosis, author says it sucks so bad. I did get author in there, so that's a bonus point, but you're gonna get a negative bonus point later on, you'll see. Again, I feel a little bit of the scare quote vibe behind the sucks so bad part, but most importantly, later in the article, it says, this sucks so bad, but I'm already learning so much mostly about myself, he noted in the video's description. And then used this picture. What? What are- what? What are you doing? Look at their tweet about it! They put the pencil picture in the tweet! And that's not even the strangest thing. I was actually in the New York Post two times last week. The other time for an article called Invisible Creatures Are Having Sex On Your Face While You Sleep, which you can find out about on Journey to the Microcosmos. So apparently, I have some fans over there. Anyway, yeah, that's F tier, which completes 
our tier list. Everybody, this has obviously been a pretty tough time for me, are now a week after my first chemo, feeling much better than I was a few days ago. The chemo has been pretty miserable already, but I'm getting amazing care and I have so much support and there's been so much good vibes and I just can't say how much I appreciate it. It has really pushed me through some of the hard times and feeling not alone in a moment like this is a fantastic privilege. I'm really glad I was feeling up to make a video today. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.